Hey, this is Bill for Sparky Channel, and today I have a question from a viewer, and it is, question, when it comes to refrigerators, we had been discussing ground fault circuit interrupter protection, and he says, most folks say no to GFI protection outlets for refrigerators because the compressors can draw a large amount of juice when kicking on. Then he goes on to tell his situation, and at the end he says, so confusing. So let me see if I can shed some light on this situation. This is 2023 NEC Article 210.8A. And there is a delta symbol, which means there is a text deletion. And if you see a shaded area, that means there's a revision there. This is A, dwelling units. All 125 volt through 250 volt receptacles installed in the following locations and supplied by single phase branch circuits rated 150 volts or less to ground shall have ground fault circuit interrupter protection for personnel. One, bathrooms. Two, garages and also accessory buildings that have a floor located at or below grade level not intended as habitable rooms and limited to storage areas, work areas, and areas of similar use. So if you have a refrigerator in your garage and your floor is above grade level, what I'm reading for this is that in that instance, you would not need GFCI in that garage. So in that case, I think that your refrigerator would not need to be protected by GFCI unless it was within six feet of a sink, which is an upcoming item. Three, outdoors. Four, crawl spaces at or below grade level. Five, basements. And six, kitchens. So when you see kitchens, that means everything in the kitchen needs to be protected by GFCI. So if you have a refrigerator in a kitchen, it has to be on GFCI according to the 2023 NEC. Now, if you'd like to put a refrigerator in your bedroom without GFCI protection, I don't think there's any problem. This is 210.8D, and you see all the changes all throughout this one. <laughs> Specific appliances, GFCI protection shall be provided for the branch circuit or outlet supplying the following appliances rated 150 volts or less to ground and 60 amperes or less single or three phase. Notice in this whole list, there's no refrigerator listed. However, all of these appliances must always have GFCI protection. An important note on this subject is that the fear of a tripping GFCI device is a reason that states such as Oregon continue to allow non-GFCI protection for refrigeration equipment. Oregon allows this where a single receptacle is installed and labeled not GFCI protected. The kitchen GFCI protection in the NEC may be amended per jurisdiction. So I advise checking before doing work of this kind. Let me know in the comments section if your state or jurisdiction amends any of the NEC articles I went over in the video. Also, let me know how you would feel if an electrical inspector told you that your garage freezer full of your favorite foods would have to be GFCI protected. Would you be okay with it? Or would you think that was crazy? Thanks. I hope this video answered some questions and I hope that it was helpful.